Now I want to address the nation, and I'm speaking directly to you, Mr. President. President Buhari, the call of God, why God allowed you to become the president of Nigeria. It's not that you qualify to become the president of this country. The man that is supposed to be on that seat is a man that rejected God's instruction to deal with corruption in his own time. And God said if he doesn't deal with it, it's going to get him out of the throne and a stranger will take over. You are the stranger that God brought on power. God brought you to the villa to change the course of history. This is the word of the Lord to you. Isaiah 33. This is a call of God. This is a, supposed to be the person and the man that God sent you to be. You're supposed to be like a Cyrus that is to carry out the will of God in bringing Nigeria into its place within the space of two years. He who walks righteously and speaks uprightly, he who despises the gain of oppression, who gesture with his hands refusing bribes, who stops his ears from hearing of bloodshed, and shuts his eyes from seeing evil. He will dwell on high. His place of defense will be the fortress of rocks. Bread will be given him. His water will be sure. God called you to establish righteousness, in this country, God raised you, President Buhari, God raised you to speak uprightness, to bring equity and justice in this country. God raised you to stop oppression of the poor and oppression of the people. God raised you to stop the corruption and the bribery. Buhari, the Lord sent me to warn you. Mm -hmm. Your days are numbered. Mm -hmm. If you do not repent and change your way, Nigeria, the earth is waiting to swallow you up. Your generation will never recover from it if you do not repent. Your assignment. Why God brought you is to rebuild a new Nigeria. To repair the broken altars in this country and unify Nigeria. But instead of doing what God has called you to do, there is a cry of oppression. You are sitting as the president of Nigeria, a man that I've known to be a man that fights injustice. It is the poor, it is the masses. And instead of responding to the poor and the masses, you have abandoned the masses and the poor, and you have responded to the corrupt. Surrounding you, sitting with you in your cabinet, are wicked, corrupt ministers. If you're going to deal with corruption, you don't start from outside, you start from inside. You must be fair. You must be the government of justice. You must deal with men. Many are The budget of over 150 million. You can clean up that mess to restore Nigeria back to the nation of fairness and justice. Right before you, 20 something billion dollars 
was given out under your leadership. Under your leadership, the poor have lost their hope. Yes. Under your leadership, devil himself. Devil himself. Because you refuse to hearken to the voice of God. God bless you, my man. Speak the now truth God and let you to the devil be ashamed. The prayers and the fasting of Nigerians. God took you for six months. Yes. So that you can come back to yourself and become a new man. He, he still have not returned. back to the nation. And you want to continue in your Wicked own bastard. I know about He is heartless. You saw your eyes. Innocent lights are going. He killing us. Yes. Speak on, brother. Yes, yeah, speak his language. Come the fire, Buari. What will stop you from gathering the Fulani people? Stop this Ask this madman. If you do not stop and think that it is a he will die. Oh, God. Yes. He said. Yes. Nande Kano. God has risen Nande Kano. No one yes. Turn the fire at him. Wicked, devilish man. Speak the language you understand because he's a heartless man. God is a God of justice. Yes, he is. God, I hear the cry of the innocent. Yes, God brought you not by your power. You were brought into this seat because he needed to act, and he needed a man that will love fairness, hate bribery, and hate corruption. Buhari is the father of corruption. President Buhari, as your minister of aviation, is there. If your conscience is free, deal with this man. Get them out. Exactly. They send where he's fighting PDP. Let him fight his own cabinet. Yes. You have raised leaders that are liars. Murderers. Murderers, blood suckers. That's who Buari is and his leadership. Yes, speak it to him. He understand what you're saying. Never seen my life. Who despises the 
pain of oppression. Who just stop with his hands, refusing bribes? Devil himself. Tinubu is the one to blame. He brought this madman. He brought this heartless president. Dictator himself. Deal with the one inside. Deal with the ones outside. Let me say this to you. God has given you the next few months mm -hmm. to correct the wrong. I'm going to show you an example. You don't need those technocrats. They will themselves. The man is evil. Become my brother. God bless you. Thank God you're not an evil man. They could have tagged it that you're an evil man. to run for 2019 yes speak it god bless you my brother you see come on i did a break into seven Gwari can never rule us again this is his last panel God bless you, my brother. You will live long. You will live long. You will live long. Yes. Yes. No. They are not human beings. Ask him. My brother from the north, ask this madman. God bless you. God bless you. Let the idiot understand. Woke up with a burden in his heart of a nation. 
you my brother you are my brother from another mother
If you are spending 100 million, bring it down to 20 million. Thank you. Then you are ready for change. If he don't want to change, he's a devil himself. Share with this video. Tag it to everybody you know that I'm an Ausa brother, an Ausa sister. Yes. Here is the aviation invest. It is not five people that will be controlling it, but every Nigerian will have a share. God will bless you, my brother. All the money you need. I must surely belong to your own place. church. The money is in the pocket of Nigerians. Anna Puka. Puka. And it looks like you are closing your ears. The time has come that the cry of the people have ascended to heaven. And God is saying, It's coming very soon. Nigeria got it too hot for Buhari and his cabinet. And, I want to say to all and all their supporters, wake up! Wake up! All political parties, stop presenting corrupt men. Reach out to the bottom. Pick up men that have no corruption charge. Thank you! Raise them and present them to the Nigeria. Put your team together. The people you want to use to recover Nigeria. How you want to recover Nigeria. And God Almighty, who is the God of righteousness, will respond to righteousness. Yes. Baba Buhari, Yusuf Muhammad, Nakira, Amidukuri, Abuni Yesaya Boko Haram, Chukache Boko Haram, was because they couldn't imagine people with degrees. That cannot solve their problem. And here they are talking big English. Nigerians are not interested in speech making. Educated fools. What they want is a change. Change! Nothing is moving in Nigeria. Nothing. Don't follow. You are not just a northerner. You are the Nigerian president. No, God bless you. God bless you. Listen to the cry of the southeast. Listen to the cry of the southwest. Oh. You don't need to compromise anything. Hey. Be fair. Be just. Change your cabinet. If you are taking two from the southeast, take two from the southwest. Oh. From the west, take two Who is this man? Not central. Give everybody fair judgment, and the mercy of God will speak over you. I close. I say unto you, God is giving you the last warning. Hey. Arise and respond. Sack and change your cabinet. And do not bring in corrupt politicians. Reach out to the true Nigerians with the fear of God. Gather the religious leaders. Give them assignments. Gather the young people with credibility. Give them an assignment. And Nigeria in one year will be changed. If you walk by obeying it one year, Zakachere Nigeria on the wrong road and bring Nigeria on the right road. Yes. Nigeria, God bless you. Bless you. God bless the people of Nigeria. Yes. And may the Lord be exalted in Nigeria. Amen. Hey, who is this, my Elsa brother? Who said that we don't have good people in Aosa? Eh? This man is from the north. Thank God he's not an Igbo man. He's speaking the language that that babu called Buari understand very well. That murderer, that blood sucker, that he brought president again. Okay? Oh, this man, he could get direct to him. Where is Mbaka? Where is your so called Mbaka? Where is your Ebu Bedikako Ebu Bumabara? Where is your pastors, Bukumi, and all the rest? Where are they? Why can't they open their mouth and say the truth? This man is an awesome man for crying out loud. He spoke the truth. This man is an awesome man. He nailed it. Where is your so called evil brothers that pretend to be Christians? Where is the backer that collected billions from, from Buare? 
and sealed his mouth. Where is the Bubeti Please share this video. Tag it to anybody that you know. Let them hear a man that's from north. That's speaking from his heart. From the depth of his heart. Tag it to them. Share it on YouTube. Ask them where is Mbaka? Your so-called adoration. Your reference for the Catholics that collect that collecting bribe. Akuna Fukoya. Akuna Nukoya. A brother tag me this video in this video. Because I'm gonna tell the video before me go to ignore ya or more. Yes, okay. Go and watch that video. Much I'll be my move video by me ignore because the video me won't tell the crazy. Go and tell them. Go and spread the word around. By your so-called uh, pastors and reverends. Tell them that if they don't change, oh Jesus, oh Jesus, that all Kuchineke is coming. That all that they are too hot to contain. Go and tell them. Buari. God who gave you a second chance because he's a oh, 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 God of mercy. Oh, a God of second chance. Thank God that this man spoke from the depth of his heart. Okay, he's from Europe, he's from Igbo. He's from uh, uh, Yoruba. The man is from your town. He spoke the language that you understand. He made a very crucial point. Oh, when you want to pick your cabinet, if you pick two from south, you pick two from west, you pick two from east, you pick two from north. Is it not fair? If you pick a Muslim, you pick a Christian. If you pick a pagan, you pick a Muslim. If you pick a Christian, you pick a pagan. Is it not what you call one Nigeria? Restructure Nigeria, you refuse. Your cabinets refuse. Your corrupt cabinets refuse. Or passenger refuse. You refuse because you guys are blood suckers. God is only giving you a few months, Buare. I said it, and I will still say it again, that the only thing Buare has in this world is just to die or go to jail for, for genocide. That is the only thing Buare wanted in this world to do. Buari has only two options in this world. He would rather die or he would rather go to jail. Mark my word. He don't want to change his way around. Oh, Jesus Christ. He watching to Buari. He think he's untouchable. He's on power. He has money. He's embezzling people's money anyhow. The masses are dying, crying. Nothing is even moving in Nigeria as I'm talking to you. On your labor, I get it. Everybody's crying. And you are there, say you are one Nigeria. Who are you representing, Buari? Wicked president. And you guys don't want to say anything. See who is speaking. Go and tell him, Baka. Go and tell him, Bubedika, Kawe, Bubedika, and Akwaya. Go and tell all these pastors and reference fathers. They don't want to open their mouth. God will open their mouth by force. They don't want to open it. God of heaven. The God of justice. The God that seen the, the, the blood of beer France. How bloody is killing them. Masquering them every day by that nobody saying anything about it. I will start full and enhance men and killing people every day. Nothing has been done. And you guys are sitting quiet, watching, not doing anything. The God of vengeance will visit. The God of vengeance will visit you all. The blood of innocent Biafrans are crying every day. You all can never go and punish. You mother can never go and punish.
punish. The God of vengeance will visit you all. But worry, you will pay for it. Turn your ways around. Call everybody. Bring hands together. Listen to dear friends. Listen to everybody. We are on Nigeria. You decided to come. They destroy your beer friends. Kill them. Massacre them. And nobody. Because as soon as I, those monsters, blood suckers, call themselves reverend father, as soon as they collected money, they will not speak the truth again. Go and tell those governors. Obiano and Willie and Rochas. Go and tell them that the vengeance, that God, his vengeance is, will, will come upon them in due time. Are you guys not seeing it? The, the voice of the innocent blood, Unu Shara. You guys shared. The blood of the innocent ones you guys shared will revisit you all, one after another. Your cabinet, God will visit you, Buari. Buari, God will visit you. Nothing is moving in the zoo. Nothing. Go and share this video. Tag it to Buari. Share it to our APC, PDP, wherever they are. Tell them that God will visit them in, in due time. They are enjoying now. But in due time, they will pay dearly. They will pay with their last blood. The same way they killed Biafrans. The same way they killed people in our leader and the Kano's residence. The same way they share blood and nobody, even common reverend fathers, I call them common because they are, they are worthless. They are not worthy, not at all. The God of vengeance, the God of the poor, the God of the widows will revisit you all. God will revisit you all. Share my video. Tag it to anybody that cares to know. Like I said, if Nigeria divide today, our sons are still not our enemy. All we are asking for is our freedom. We want to be free. They will still be our neighboring, our neighboring uh, neighbors. We're going to still be our neighboring countries. We are not the enemies, but we want to go. We want to manage our resources. We want to build our own country. We are tired of this injustice. All we want is peace and equity. Justice. That's all. Share the video. Tell them. Tell Buari that is <laughs> if he <laughs> Buari. Buari na kuti Buari. Buari na kuti Buari. Kangara Buari. Kangara Buare, Kaku to Buare.